Hi, everybody. I'm just going to run through pretty basically InDesign um, just for a few basic uses. It's a great um, program to create PDFs for your client. Um, so how you begin is open up InDesign and say create new. Um, this is where you can choose the size of your document, how many pages you want it to be, um, if you want the paces to be facing one another. Um, if you end up needing more pages than you choose here, you can add them later, and I'll show you that as well. Um, let's just do five. This is also great if you're, you know, doing a, a book dummy for children's books. It's a great place to lay it out. So you'll notice there are a ton of similarities to Photoshop. So if you feel pretty confident with Photoshop, um, you'll, you'll adapt to InDesign pretty well as, as well with um, a few more kind of more graphic design um, type tools. So if you look at this tab right here, um, these are where the, the pages are. So if you needed to add a page, you could simply right click and insert a page. From there, what you can do is you can take um, an image. I'm just going to drag this in off my desktop. And when you drag it an image into InDesign, it's kind of floating on your cursor, which is pretty cool. So you can, um, what you can do is you can um, take it once you have that image and pull it on. Now, right now I'm in Zoom and whenever I hold down my cursor, it starts to change the, the, the location of my video. So I can't actually show that to you right now, but I can just put it in and if you click it, it's going to give you the size that the image is actually of. So from there, um, this is kind of the more trickier part of InDesign when dealing with images. So if you enlarge, it creates kind of an art box. Um, and then if you click this circle, so you could actually fill this art box with the image, um, or you could also use to crop your picture. So let's just crop my face off there. So you can see how that works. Now to move, to actually enlarge your actual picture, there's gonna be this orange box. And so you click the circle in the center and then you can enlarge it. And um, you can warp it, you know, just the same way that you can in, in Photoshop. So another thing, basic thing that you'll probably need to do when creating your sketch decks is the type tool. So with the type tool, you can simply um, create a box. And um, right now I have my characters out, um, my colors out. Um, this is set for me. I, I made my workspace look like this, but these might not be right here for you. So you go up to window and then you'll be able to see um, different boxes you can add. And there's also, um, you might look in view. Window and view are where you're gonna find um, most of, of what, what you need, okay? So from there, you can simply type whatever you want. You can highlight the text. You can, you, there's so many capabilities of what you can do on this top bar whether that's changing the font um, or different things like that, um, adding different things on pages. If you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can go to the master page and click that and you'll see it will be blank. And you could actually set up um, a kind of a template for how you want your decks to look. So then all you have to do is throw in, replace the text, throw it all in. Say you wanted your name on every page and your website, you know, down at the bottom, you could actually create a text box, you know, with, you know, your name and info. And then if I clicked on my regular page and I go through my different pages with you guys, that information is going to be on every single page. So if you wanted to add page numbers or, you know, whatever you want to do, that is a great kind of powerful tool to use. Um, then the other thing, this is what I find most exciting. So, um, and most useful for me. So when I'm sending stuff to clients, you know, I want to, 
I don't want to re I don't want to send them high resolution files throughout the entire project. I save that for the very end. This is also just side note business wise. This is a great way to protect yourself if a client hasn't paid you the full amount, you know, don't give them that full res until until you've got your money in hand. Um, there are exceptions. Certain companies won't work that way, but that's a talk for another time. But anyways, um, if you go to file, you know, um, export, you can export this, you know, however you want or in the dimensions that it already exists. But let's say you want to do something low res. You can go to Adobe PDF presets and define the ones that you want. So I created, this is one that I created, it's called dummy emailable. <laughs> so that means like it's a low, these are for like my book dummies that I do for my children's stories that I'm writing right now. And I can just export it in a low res email or low res file, attach it to an email to my crit partner or my art director, send it that way. Um, and it's, it's really quick. And I also use this export for my um, sketch decks as well. So um, to create one of these of your own, you go to define, and then you can go through these different, you know, tabs, you can press new um, and, and go through all the dimensions that, that you want, it's all available to you. So I think there's a lot, this program's super powerful and there's a lot of other things you can do, but you know, this is really, this is all you guys need to know in InDesign. It's just super easy and don't worry about the rest. Um, if you come up with some some trouble, try YouTube. Um, I, that's how, I didn't learn this in art school and I, I just had taught myself actually not too long ago. I think I just really started to use it, um, you know, a few years ago. So, um, and the program's always changing as they are. So good luck, give this a try, try this out maybe for your sketch deck um, or, you know, outside of my class, in class, or maybe with your, with a client you're working with. Good luck.